We are back again, but we're doing a vlog. It's been a while since we did a full reset, but I am going on vacation, so I thought it would be a great idea to vlog me getting ready for my trip. I already got everything done as far as my hair, nails, lashes, pedicure, all that, everything is done. It's been a while since we got our nails done. Cute, cute, cute. We got our pedicure. I got pink, that's my favorite color, so obviously everything has to be pink. We got the lashes done eyebrows are done we're going to jamaica it's going to be extremely hot and i don't have time to be doing my hair sweating on my hair every day so we got the braids okay you guys are just gonna reset with me still got more things to get done of course i have to pack get everything ready for my trip we also have to run a few errands clean up our house because it's ridiculous in here and i like to get everything done before my trip so that way i don't have to come home and reality hit me like a rock okay i like to at least have everything nice and clean so that way i don't have to worry too much about resetting when i get home but we have a lot to get done in this vlog so let's head on the road and run some errands running errands i feel like i've been on the road for so long and i am so freaking tired and we're leaving in a few hours still want to do a quick try on haul for you guys just a few things so you guys can like see my outfits i won't show everything because y'all will see it on the trip okay we just got a quick bite at j alexander's i'm really tired it's starting to rain out and it's really putting me in a tired mood when i'm supposed to be excited happy for this trip now all i want to do is sleep but we still got a few more things to do before we head out in a few hours we're leaving at 5 30 to go to cleveland we're flying out of cleveland flight stops in miami and then we're going to jamaica at the flight coming back why do we have a five hour overlay i'm literally so annoyed that it, i don't do good when it comes to long flights being in the airport for too long five hours is ridiculous so that's why i went to the library just to pick up a book so i can read when i have some free time at the airport it's called guess who by chris mcgeorge it is a mystery book you guys know i love mysteries so i just picked this up so that way i'm not freaking bored out my mind at the airport i'm also bringing my laptop and all of that so that way i can edit this vlog and probably just edit and work on a few more things for youtube and social media and all that so i think it really won't be that bad just because i can literally it literally takes me five plus hours to edit a video anyway so might as well use that time to edit my video but it's raining my hair is already messed up i'm annoyed but you know y'all see me on the beach looking fly drinking my margarita next video so we'll just have to deal with all this yucky rain for one more day you know what's funny i was a little skeptical about recording myself at the mall earlier in this vlog i recorded myself going to the mall and i was a little bit hesitant at first to record myself because like i'm still getting used to, to pulling out my camera in public is i guess over time it definitely gets like i get more comfortable with it but it was low-key awkward as hell and i was like hesitant to like record myself getting my nails done but i'm like if i'm not about to post this vlog who will if i don't get the shot all the footage that i need who the heck will? How will I have this YouTube video if I don't post? If I'm too scared to post in public? So I'm like, you know the heck what? I don't care no more. Because, like, literally at this point, I'm like, I don't care. I had to think to myself, 
do these people really care that much about a random girl with a damn camera in public like do people really care if you're somebody that's like extremely nervous to start recording content let me tell you this nobody gives a crap no one really cares that deep about you to really stop you from recording yourself and putting yourself out there and posting content like literally nobody cares it's crazy to me because when I first started like I would refuse to take this camera out in public I would refuse now I still have trouble like talking on the camera in public still having trouble with that but as far as just pulling my camera out recording scenery I really don't have a problem with it I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it because people don't care like I just tell myself people don't give a crap about you like it's not that serious as long as you're not being obnoxious and you know putting all the attention on you then it should be okay I know there's some places like in grocery stores like when I went to Marshall's or one of those stores I put my camera out. one of the workers were like uh what are you doing and I was like oh I just I just make vlogs on YouTube and he was like oh I'm gonna ask and see if that's okay and I was like sure whatever and then he never came back so I don't know if it was okay or not but like other than that if no workers say anything like I have my camera out at J Alexander the waiter he didn't give a crap he didn't even look at the camera he didn't even look the direction I had the camera up he did not care because he was too busy doing what he needs to do and whenever you're in public obviously people are busy people are trying to get things done and do you really think they're gonna stop in their tracks and be like oh my god this girl's recording herself like no one gives a crap some people would be curious that's normal they might stare at you out of curiosity but it's not like they're about to go home to their husband or wife or girlfriend friends or whatever and be like I believe this girl was recording herself like it was the craziest thing I ever saw like no one's about to do all that it's really not that serious so if you're trying to like record content put yourself out there I promise you like people don't care as much as you think they do unless you're literally be being obnoxious and like screaming at the camera in public I don't know but as long as you're just doing your thing no one's gonna give a crap but I was getting my pedicure it started the conversation and this girl that was doing my feet my pedicure she said that she was a vlogger too or did some type of content creation on the side of doing um nails and I was like how cool is that like what a small world we live in like other people do the same thing a lot of people are doing it as well it's not just you get out your cover zone stop caring what people think stop worrying too much about people at the end of the day do you know this person is this person paying your bills and if they stare at you are you gonna see them ever again <laughs> probably not so why stress and worry about this person do your content push out that content make the content other people are doing the same thing as you or some people even might want to do the same thing as you but they're too afraid to do it i promise you if you ask like out of 10 people if you ask each person out of that 10 people if they would ever consider content creation or just vlogs or whatever I bet you like three or four or five like half at least half of them would say yeah that would be cool but I could never do that I'm too I'm too shy to do that I think that's too nerve-wracking oh I couldn't I couldn't do that I'm pretty sure it will be in the back of their mind like yeah this will be cool but I don't think I can do it I promise you that it's always because people always don't go the content creation route because they just simply are too afraid to do it and too shy and couldn't see themselves talking to a camera or pulling a camera out in public and just recording themselves so it's very common like content creation a lot of people actually want to do it who will be the one that will step out their comfort zone and get it done and post content and put themselves out there just a very small percent of people so you need to be a part of that small percentage put yourself out there and I promise you it's gonna be worth it look at my first video I left my old videos up even though they are so freaking cringy I left up my old videos because I want you guys to see my growth okay I'm not about to pop the video up at the top just go go to my page go to my earlier videos like a year ago only a year and just see how much I've grown especially with being comfortable on a camera you will see a huge difference in just a year so just think about it all you need to give yourself is a year and you will see a huge difference in your content you will see a huge difference in your confidence not only in yourself but in your content you're gonna see a huge difference so if you guys want to watch my ugh, my old content go ahead but I only leave it up I want to show you guys growth and I don't want this page to be like all perfect no growth I always been like this comfortable on camera because it wasn't like that I don't want to show you guys 
something that's not actually realistic and not actually true so that's why i left up those videos so you guys can see the journey and we're only going up from here we still got a lot more fixing to do with my content creation and just my putting out content in general still got a lot of work to do but it's a process it's a learning journey i'm still learning a lot about being a content creator and that's just that so it's really like crazy right now and we gotta pack and get some things done so i will see you guys when i get into the house uh gotta turn my car on so i can get into the house but <sighs> let's park all right it's dark now see you guys inside from Shein. We are starting off with bathing suits since I don't have too much. I only, I think this is like the only one I got. I'm gonna try on some of my old ones as well. But yeah, we're only staying there for like three days. It's not a long trip at all. So I don't want to get too many bathing suits since I already have so many. But this is freaking so cute. Like stop. It's giving body. But this is the cutest bathing suit I have ever gotten from Shein. This is literally my favorite. It has a little cover up right here and you know, I'm not taking this off. So it comes with the matching bottom and then this cute little tie thing in the front. It's so cute. I love this. It looks so good on me. Like, I know this is going to be the first bathing suit I'm gonna wear on vacation. I'm recording right here. I think it's better lighting. This dress is literally my favorite. Be so for real. I already wore this out for date night and I got so many compliments on it. I literally love this dress so much. I feel like it compliments my body type so freaking well. And the back is all out. Like look at that. Like this is why I go to the gym to get those back gains. So I can show all the back gains off. I got this last year from Shein. I don't know why I haven't worn it yet, but this is cute as hell. This is cute. All the dresses I got, the back is out. So, yes, this is so freaking cute. A bodycon dress or whatever you want to call it. It has a little outing right here, ties up here, and then it ties up here as well. Yeah, this is cute. I like this one. But it's okay. It definitely looks different from the picture. It's giving third grade vibes like I'm about to like I'm about to take my yearly pictures for the third grade that's what's giving it's all right I don't know if I'm gonna wear this yet on vacation okay this is actually not that bad I 
first when I tried it on, I didn't, I wasn't really feeling it. But I think since my hair is finally done, makeup, nails, lashes, I feel like it puts the outfit together a lot more. It's giving orange, it's a new black. Pretty big at the bottom, if you guys can see. So you definitely need heels with these. Back again is out. Yeah, I really do like this, honestly. It's gonna look so good on the beach. And then I got this like little bodysuit that I got from Shein from their fitness collection. Um, this one is definitely cute. It's a little bit tight, but I think it fits me well. Long white socks with some high top white shoes. This is gonna be so cute when I'm in the gym. It's cute. Backside out again. Yeah. I like it. Look how cute it is. It just compliments my skin. So good. On the back. Backside. And. Oh my gosh. I love this. Cute. 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 And I got a couple other things that I don't feel like trying on. And you, you'll just see it in Jamaica even if I decide to wear them because I got a lot of stuff for a three day trip. I always get too many things when all I need is like three outfits, three bathing suits and that's it. But I got some more stuff that I don't feel like trying on. Y'all just are gonna see in Jamaica, okay?